All right, everybody, we're back. I just finished eating dinner, and we're going to finish up the rest of the Jeopardy round, and then we'll get into Double Jeopardy and Final, and I have the next election. Oh, my! For 400. This region of islands in the Pacific includes Guam, Kiribati, and Nauru. What is Micronesia? Definitely. Oh my! For 600. A sticky situation, or an area of wet, soggy ground. What is a mire? Yes. Player two, what'll it be? Slow down for 200. In driver's training, you learn this light means to slow down and be prepared to stop. Not hurry up to beat the red. What is yellow? Hey, you got it. Slow down four. Player one, your turn. In some classes, time goes as slowly as this sweet liquid in January. What is molasses? Precisely. Slow down six. Mimic this gastropod's pace when walking to school, and you may get there by lunchtime. What is a snail? Precisely. Pick again. Slow down eight. As a verb, the name of this golf club means to occupy yourself in a leisurely way. What is putt? No? Pass. Regrettably, no. This is the correct question. Putter. Oh, okay. A thousand. Slow down. Hey, you're still up, player one. As a verb, it's followed by away to mean slowly waste your money. As a noun, it's a deep fried battered cake. What is fritter? Right you are. It's your turn, player three. Oh my, for 800. It's a ship equipped to detect and destroy enemy explosives. What is a minesweeper? Very good. Last clip. The final answer on this board is, this box with slotted sides enables a carpenter to make perfect cross cuts. What is a miter box? Definitely. $9,400 at the end of the Jeopardy round, not bad. All right, that brings us to the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's see how our players are doing. <clears throat> nice work, player one. You're in the lead right now. Okay, let's get to the double jury round. And now, the categories for the double jeopardy round. All right. Stately homes. Mm -hmm. Think fast. We have slowed down, now we have to think fast. All right. U.S. history. Hey, Tiger. Foolish fashion fads. Science and nature. And to conclude, okay, dwelling. Off we go, player two. I'll take U.S. history for four hundred. After a 1995 law change, in most states you can legally exceed this 1974 limit. 
What is 55 miles per hour? Or is it 34 limit? Oh, let's just say the speed limit. No? It's five miles per hour. Right, you right are. are. There we go. Dwelling's two thousand. Over to you, Over player, player one. one. In Malaysia, several families may live in this type of house, also built by the Iroquois. What's a long house? You bet. Uh, foolish fashion pants, two thousand. Talk about fashion wrist. This dancer wore a scarf so long it actually strangled her in 1927. Was it Marcos? No? No? Um, Sonia Heaney, maybe? No? Wasn't it Melda Marcos? Forgot. No, sorry. I forgot. Take a look. Here's the Isadora list. Duncan. Oh, okay. Um, let's have a uh, Science of Nature 2000. You'll find this Frenchman's name on almost all milk cartons. Who's Louis Pasteur? Right you are. I'll have a stately homes for 2000. The, the house of Jonathan Hager stands in the town named for him in this state. What is Maryland? Right. Oh, okay. Player three, it's your turn. Stately homes for 400. State where you'll find the homes of Harry Truman and Jesse James. What's Missouri? Yes. Layer one. Big fast two thousand. The material that people are hell bent for when moving quickly. What is leather? Yes. Player two, what'll it be? Think fast for 400. A person moving quickly is going by leaps and leaps. What are bounds? Right. Uh, US History 2000. Over to you, player one. In 1910, Alice Wells got special badge number one as the first female one of these in Los Angeles. Was a police officer? Very good. You pick again. 12 and 16. Though born to wealth, William Henry Harrison used this humble dwelling seen here as a campaign symbol. Okay, here's the clue. Cabin. Right. Fast, foolish fashion pad 16. The bustle named for this Jersey Lily collapsed when a lady sat down and sprang back when she stood up. Who was Lily Langtree? That's it exactly. Okay, player three. Stately homes for 800. A house in this state city of Hackensack was given to Baron von Steuben for service to the United States. He sold. What is New Jersey? Right. Uh, let's have a science and nature 16. Turn. Answer the daily double. Player one, uh, eight thousand. Here's the clue. As opposed to the ball type, 
The booted types of this bird of prey are named for feathers on their legs. What is it about our eagles? Very good. Science and Nature 12. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your way to 5,817. Here's the clue. In the 16th century, Conrad von Gesner published perhaps the first illustrations of these petrified animal remains. What are dinosaur fossils? Or what are fossils? Exactly. Just fossils, yeah. Uh, dwellings of four? It's the often fancy apartment occupying a building's top floor. What's a penthouse? Precisely. From Swiss French for shelter, it's a wooden cottage or lodge with overhanging eaves. What is a chateau? No? Canton. What is a canton? No, too bad. What is a chalet? Yes! Chalet, okay. Your turn, Your turn, player three. three. Foolish, Foolish fashion, fashion fads, fads for 400. In the early 1800s, these were so high and starched, the points might cut a man's ears if he moved too quickly. Here's what we were looking for. Collars, oh, okay. Stately homes for 1200. The L.L. Nunn House is an architectural highlight of Telluride in this state. What's Colorado? Exactly. Say the home 16. Player one, what'll it be now? You can visit the mansion of shipping magnate Jeremiah Lee in Marblehead in this state. What is Massachusetts? Right you are. Player two, you choose. Think fast for 800. Floor it, or put the pedal to this. What's the metal? Right. Big fast 12. Player one, what'll it be now? People go like a blue one of these, or like one of light. What's a bolt? No, what's a flash? That is incorrect. My bullet! What is a streak? Yes! Oh, okay. That makes sense. Your turn, player three. Foolish fashion fads for 800? Worn in the 1500s, Chopin's an exaggerated style of these could make the wearer 18 inches tall. What are platform shoes? Very good. Foolish fashion fads for 1200? These 18th century dandies noodled around in extremely high wigs topped with tiny little hats. Who were macaronis? Exactly. US history for 800. In 1972, he vacillated over a running mate and lost to Nixon, 520 electoral votes to 17. Who was George McGovern? That's it. Player three, you're still in control of the board. U.S. history for 1,200. American might and valor prevailed in a 1983 invasion of this small Caribbean island. What is Grenada?
That's right. Yes, it's three sixteen. Player one, it's your turn. Most of the Civil War battles in the West took place in Tennessee. Most in the East in this state. What is Virginia? Precisely. I can get it. Dwellings 12. Manhattan is known for these handsome sandstone buildings named for their dark hue. What are brownstones? Exactly. Player two, it's your turn. Think fast for 1,600. A dictionary defines it as the instant's duration of a week. Little stars and eyes do it. What's twinkle? Correct. I'm going to assign to nature four. Your turn. The major groups of social bees are honeybees, tropical stingless bees, and these large bees seen here. Okay, here's the clue. What are bumblebees? Definitely. Let's look at that last clip. And finishing off this round, on June 22, 1978, James W. Christie discovered Charon, a moon orbiting this most distant planet. It's a dwarf planet now. What's Pluto? That's correct. So I have $36,817. Let's check out the scores to see how the players are doing at the end of this Double Jeopardy round. <laughs> Pretty good. No question about it, you're hot stuff, player one. Now it's time for Final Jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. All right, what's the category? All right. Geographic extremes. Go ahead, make your wager. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. Sayixas Point, the easternmost point on the mainland of the Americas, lies in this country. I'll say what's Canada. Let's see if you got the right question. Or, wait, no, I don't think so. Player two, your question. It's Peru. Sorry, no. No, not Peru. What did that cost you? No, I think it might be Brazil. Now that I think about it. Player three, your question was? But it's not going to matter because I'm still going to win either way. Colombia, no. Oh, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. How much did it cost you? So I'm going to end up with 22817 this game. Player one, your question was? Uh oh, no. So how much is So I have $268,529 in three games. Sorry, the correct. It's Brazil. Jeopardy was. Yeah, this. Brazil. Okay, I misunderstood the clue, but it's okay. Still win. That was a heck of a game. Yeah, it was. See y'all for the next video, everybody. Congratulations to our big winner here today on Jeopardy. Player one. Bye, everybody. See you next time right here on Jeopardy!